Here's a quick way to take an image and convert it to spot colors using Photoshop. As you can see, this image is a three color design, and if we were to print it as is, it would actually print it into four colors. So to avoid that, we're just going to create three separate channels. So the first thing I want to work on is my black channel. So I'll go to Select Color Range. If I select this black area here, keep my fuzziness pretty low because they're solid tones. If we turn that too high, what will happen is it will start pulling colors out of other areas. So we want to keep it about 20. If I hold in my Shift key and begin to select any other black areas there might be, and then hit OK. This time we can copy. Choose the arrow here in the channels we want a new channel. If we do a new spot channel, any areas that we have will create solid 100%. So we don't want that just yet. So we're going to do a new channel under the selected areas and for the color we're just going to type in black under Pantone 100%. Now we're going to paste it into there. And that's want to double click on this here and make that a spot color. Okay, now we'll go back to CMYK. I want to find out what this red is. So if I go to my eyedropper, I can choose this red, select my color swatch here, and go to Custom, 179 pops up. It's going to try to find the closest color for you. So it's a 179 red, but I'm going to add a little bit of trap. So this time I'm going to select only the solid red area. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to add a little bit of trap, so I'm going to go to Select, Modify, Expand by 2 pixels. And you can see it expanded into that area. So this time I'm going to go back to my arrow here, and this time I'm going to go New Spot Channel at 100%, and Pantone 179 was already selected. So if I ch turn off my CMYK, you can see the Spot Channel was created, but I don't have my lighter shades. So I'm going to go back to select color range and choose these lighter shades. I'm going to hold in my shift key. And again, we're going to go to modify, expand by two pixels. But because they are lighter shades, it's going to actually pull into this dark area. So if I just go back into, if I just copy that and go back into my Pantone 179 and paste it, you're going to see that it has this darker outer line. So to get rid of that, just a real quick simple method is to take your eyedropper tool, select that gray area, and take a large paintbrush and just paint in real quickly those areas. Now this is a lighter shade here, so we'll just go ahead and choose the lighter shade, go back to the paintbrush. And that's pretty, that's pretty simple. Go back to my CMYK. Now I want to find out what this blue is. So again, we'll just choose this blue. Go to Custom. And it's saying it's a 533. That's pretty dark. Now I know a 295 we have. So if I just type in a 295, it doesn't have all that extra black in it. And you can see it's just a lighter shade. And we're just going to hit OK. So I want a 295. So if I go into uh, Select Color Range again, this time I'm going to select this blue and hit OK. I'm going to modify and expand by two pixels. But because these stars here are reversed out, we're going to have to add back to that. You can see that it's on these larger stars it's not so critical, but on the smaller stars it's more noticeable. So we're going to select our magic wand tool, hold in the option or the alt key, and just choose that reversed out image. We'll zoom out and we'll just do that real quickly with each of the other ones. I'm going to zoom in this area here and you can see these smaller stars lost their fill. So we're just going to go ahead and extend that back out again. Now we can go back to this and to a new spot channel. And this time we're going to change again to a 295 blue, 100%. Now what's left is this area right here, but because it's only one area, I can actually just 
select the magic wand tool and again we can go to modify expand hold in the option or the alt key and put these stars back to normal size we'll just go ahead and copy we'll turn off the CMYK paste it right into this 295 now again we're gonna select this gray with a paintbrush get down in there and that would be it so if we turn these back on you can see everything is exactly the way we want it now we'll actually go ahead and save as and this time we're going to save it as a Photoshop DCS 2.0 file it's going to include your spot colors so we'll just name this elephant seps Now I'm going to go into freehand and I'm going to look real quick and show you these registration marks. If we go into um, and choose this mark here, you can see that the line is in registration. And in freehand, what that does is if you have anything in registration, it will automatically print that image on every separation that you do. So we're going to go ahead and place that file here. Just add that to the center of the page. And when we go to print, we'll choose our ScreenRip Pro software. We'll print to film. Our resolution will keep it 1440. 1440. Printer features will go to set number three. And we'll make it, this a 50 line standard. Uh, we're going to print on a 230 mesh, so that should work no problem. And then under the freehand tab, under advanced, just make sure that the separations here is selected. And this little check mark here, when it's on, it will print that channel. So we want to just turn off the CMYK, and then what's left with is the Pantone black, red, and blue. So when we hit OK and print, it will print only those three plates.